something is quite tiny, it actually makes itself perfect. And that's why nanoscience is so interesting to people because we can make perfect things very easily. The way to make these nanoparticles and to control their size very, very precisely at the level of just a few atoms, that's what we've developed over quite a long time in my laboratory. The nanomaterials that I've been involved in have found some commercial applications. Those materials are available today for commercial use. These light emitting materials can be used in displays. We have here a plastic film that contains inside of it quantum dots, very tiny, tiny crystals made out of semiconductors. It actually contains two sizes of nanoparticle. Uh, a very small size that emits a green color and a slightly larger size that emits a, a red color of light. One of the things that we learn about vision is that we have receptors in our eyes for green, red, and blue colors. And if we want a really high quality display, we need to match the light emission from our display to the receptors in our eyes. Eventually, we thought of a different way to use these quantum dots we actually use their luminescence, and we make what's called a luminescent concentrator, which is a different kind of plastic film that absorbs light, and it actually directs through fluorescence all the light to a tiny spot. Around the time we made that invention, the world of energy changed all of a sudden very dramatically. For the first time, I think we have a period where how science develops is intimately tied up with what the future of a global humanity will be like.